Hello everyone and welcome to this video. It's Lena Tay again from Detailena.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you um, the setup that you can be using for your manual trays on the meta fissures. Okay, um, yesterday I published a video on the three ways you can use meta fissures to start trading fissures on Binance. Okay, and those three ways are you can, you know, copy a trader, you can copy a professional trader, you can use the Edge board on the meta features to automate your features trading on Binance and be making profit on or all on autopilot, or you can go the semi way, which is the manual way of trading with the platform. That is all I'm going to show you in this video and the settings, the way to trick them. That is everything I'll be sharing with you in this video. So if you do gain value from the video, do give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time of seeing my videos, if this is your first time of visiting the channel, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel. If you want to learn more about crypto trading and investing, then link to join my Telegram group will be in the video description. All right. So if you don't have a, um, an account with Metafishers or Binance, equally use the links in the video description to sign up for an account. So once you sign up for Metafishers and you log in, after you've downloaded the app and installed it, once you log in, it brings you to this page. Okay. So here we have the Fishers Trading Board. We have a board for sport, we have a board for gaming, and we have, you know, for Meta Token, we have for Meta FX Forex, and then for NFT. But our focus here, okay, is the features trading board, all right? And it will cost you 150 USDT to activate this for a whole year. So you can use it for a whole year, and then after that year, you can, um, so, um, you know, reactivate the board again, all right? So if I go ahead and click on the features, once I click on the features board, it brings us to this interface. This is how the meta features um, interface looks like. Okay. So before we go further, before I start showing you um, the settings, the way to trick them, um, there's a new feature that has been added here that you can be using to be getting signals. Okay. So here we will have top gainers, and then you have all of this coin here. If I scroll to the left, you see all of the different coins there. Okay, what you want to do is to click on this icon. If you are not having this um, on your coins, okay, showing on the tokens there, then you need to reinstall the app, all right, to get the updated version of it. So if I go ahead and click on it, once you click on it, it pops up and it gives you um, this signal, okay? It will tell you um, buy signals that are valuable, you know, sell signals that are valuable, and then it will give you a recommendation whether you are going to buy. Okay, here it says strong buy. If I scroll and I go to the next token here, I click on it. Here you have buy. Okay, so you have those buy and sell signals that you can use. And the reason for this is, since we are going to be doing manual trading, the settings I'm going to show you is how to manually trade. The manual trade requires that you need to look out for the coins to trade. Okay, instead of the bot automatically picking it for you, you need to look out for the coins to trade. So in that case, you can, you know, just leverage on the recommendation the bot is giving you and trade any of this token. Before we come back on how to trade this token, let me now show you how to do those settings. Okay, but before we do the settings, make sure that um, your bot, okay, th these are the bots that you can use to automate the trade. The edge bot or the super bot, no one is active. Okay, all of these must be inactive before you can use them. After this is inactive, the next thing is if I click on the menu icon at the top right, okay, these three lines here, make sure that where it says edge mode and save mode, all of these are turned off. Okay, if you must do manual trading, these ones will be turned off. Okay, all right. So somebody will ask, what is the advantage of doing the manual trading? The manual trading is that you can set the leverage you want and it wants to set the leverage higher, it gives you more return, okay, than the bot. The bot can only use 3x leverage to trade for you. So if you are trading, you can use the whole leverage that um, the MetaFishers board recommend, and you make more profit from that, okay? You may see opportunity in the coin, in the market, and you trade that instead of waiting for the bot to keep picking safe coins that you will make you not lose money, all right? So, now the next thing we need to do is, uh, when I come in here, this menu here, okay, this is the one we are going to click, you have this ones, okay, you have this one that brings us to the home page, this one for news, this one for the copy trade, but our focus is to click on this first option here, okay, so if I click on it, it gives us a list of all the 98 plus tokens that, you know, um, 
Meta features has implemented here that you can start trading automatically from here to your Binance. All right. So these are all the tokens that we are going to tr trade. So once we come in here, we want to go to settings first. We need to customize the setting, and the setting we are doing here will cover for every other token. If we need to trade or tweak the settings, we can do it for each of these tokens. But now we need a general setting that covers everything on the tokens that will be trading. Okay. So once I go ahead and click on it, once I click on the setting icon. It brings us to this interface. So here is where we are going to carry out the settings. When we do the settings, it is not every trade you want to carry, you come and do the settings. Once we do it, it covers for everything, okay? So the first thing we want to do is, um, if you don't understand any terminology here, you can come in here and click on the FAQ, all right, to get any of these things that you don't understand. But uh, when I'm explaining, you should be able to get the whole idea. All right. So the first thing we need to do when we come in here to the setting is to adjust the leverage. And on Meta Fishers, the highest leverage you can use is 10x leverage. Okay. You cannot go more than 10x leverage, which is better. Okay, for people like us because it helps us to save, play safe on the market instead of using 20x, 50x, 100x, and the rest are risking your account. You can just use 10x leverage. Okay. So we are going to adjust the leverage. I normally use 10x. Okay, I normally use 10x. You can decide whatever leverage you want to use. Okay, you can use between 1 to 10, but I am using 10x leverage. So one thing I want to let you know here is that Meta Fishers trade on isolated margin mode, not on cross mode. Okay, if we put in our first order amount here, okay, here, um, it, whatever it is, if in any case we get liquidated, it is this money that we are risking since it is isolated mode that the bot is trading on. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and put in 500, okay, meaning that I am risking 500 because I'm using 10x, I am risking 500 to make profit of, you know, $5,000, not as if I'm making the $5,000. Let's say if the market goes in my favor by 10%, instead of making 10% of $500, it will now be 10% of $500. That is what leverage is all about. Okay, so with your little capital, you can borrow more money and trade. That is why it is saying that um, total cost will be $500. For, for every trade that we open, okay, for every trade that we open for $500, we are opening a trade because we are using tennis leverage worth $500. So if, I'm, if the market goes in our favor by 20%, 30%, 50%, it means that we are making those percentage not of 500, but of the 5,000 which we are borrowing, okay? So that is it about setting up the leverage. Now, after that, we go to the next one. The next one here is where we have the number of circles, okay? Some persons call this method I'm teaching you now semi-auto. Semi-auto meaning that if you are going to use circle mode, okay, you don't need to be there for the board to be taking trades for you. Once it initiates the first one, it sells. Whenever it sees opportunity, it automatically long or short the market for you with the settings we have here. All right. So the number of circles can be as many as you want. It can be 500, it can be 10, it can be 20, and so on. All right. So once you finish, um, you can put the number here, the figures you want. Okay, put the number here. So whatever you wish to have as a circle, okay, um, number of time you want to circle the market, go ahead and put that number there. All right. So I've changed it to five. So the next thing you have here is the trade start callback. All right. Now, what this simply means is whenever you place a trade, let's say you want to long or you short the market, when do you, do you want it to go into the market immediately or do you want it to um, wait for a particular moment in the market? All right. That is what this is all about. Okay. So if you put 2% here, it means that the market will need to move by 20% ROE before your trade can be initiated. All right. So normally, what I personally use, Okay, because I don't want my trade to go into the market immediately, I'll just go ahead and put 0 0.2 here, okay, or and in most cases, I'll just do 0 0.1, all right, depending on what I see in the market, all right, you can put 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, up to 0 0.5, you can put any number you want here, but I just put 0 0.2, okay, so what I'm simply saying is that if I place this trade and the market move by, you know, 2% ROE, the trade should immediately uh, trigger for me, okay? So meaning that if I place a trade, instead of going to the market immediately, it will be waiting, all right? If you don't want to use this, you can just clean it and put zero here, 
okay so that whenever you place a trade if it is a sell it will go to the market immediately okay so after that we have btc callback all right btc callback if i go ahead and put for instance hundred dollars here all right and then i change the time frame here from one day to 15 minutes what i'm simply saying is that when i place my trade it will not go into the market immediately so the trade is going to be pending until when BTC, if for instance if I long the market, when BTC increases by hundred dollar on the fifteen minute time frame, that is when my trade will be activated. Okay, if I place a short um, position to short the market, BTC when BTC reduces by hundred dollar on the fifteen minute time frame, my trade will be triggered. Okay, that is what that simply means. But I don't put anything here. I just go ahead and put zero. Okay, I don't need this because I've set these other two already, so I don't need this. All right the next thing now is a trade setting so if i come in here you can put stop loss okay and so on but i don't normally use stop loss so the next thing i want to do um you can put stop loss here okay if you want to i don't use stop loss i'll come in here and click on auto where it says um trailing stop loss that is the one we are going to use okay so i go and click on trailing stop loss put it on auto okay if you want to put the custom um then you can customize all of this but i normally use the auto so when I use the auto, now the trailing stop loss, what do I want it to be? I normally use 2% on the trailing stop loss, okay? So the trailing stop loss, what trailing stop loss simply does is that on the Binance exchange, what trailing stop loss does is it helps you to secure profit, okay? Let's say we enter the market and then the market increases by 20% ROE and our target is to take profit okay let's say our target is to take profit at 20 percent roe if it gets to 20 percent roe and then the market continues to go up what do we want to do do we want to take the profit or we want to continue sustaining the market that is when trailing stop loss now comes in okay so it will continue to sustain and continue to adjust your position then when the market start dropping okay let's say the market has increased to 50 percent or there about when it start dropping that is when your trailing stop loss will be triggered so you can go ahead and say, okay, when the market drop, let the trailing stop loss be triggered when the market draws by. Um, um, if you make this 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 or there about 0 0.6, okay? If you make it 0 0.6, when the market drops, okay, when it starts going against you, when it's going in your favor, okay, and it has increased up to um, zero, um, 6 percent ROE, the trailing stop loss will be activated and it will be following your position one after the other. It will be following your position until it takes profit for you. That is what trailing stop loss is, okay? Then the next thing here is the margin call limit. Margin call limit is you trading the market under probability. We want to long the market. We are seeing opportunity to long the market. What if for any reason the market start going against you what do you want to do that is when this margin call limit comes in all right so you can put the number of time you want the bot to continue to buy for you because when the market start going against us um there is every tendency that if it doesn't hit our stop loss that is if we set a stop loss if it doesn't hit our stop loss it will set hit our liquidation price and once we are liquidated remember it's 500 i put here as the first um amount okay on the my cost i put 500 so if we get liquidated i will lose that entire 500 all right so what this does is that when the market start dropping instead of waiting let's say we enter bnb at 300 instead of waiting to get to 310 before we take profit it will buy more okay it will buy more in the deep when it buys more in the deep when the market start going uh, in our favor it will be easier for us to take profit in the market all right so you can set the margin call limit to any number you want but we'll go with the three and after that we'll click on the margin configuration okay so if you come in here to the configuration click on it it opens up this way so what you are simply saying is that you want to buy if the market goes against you here we have the margin call drop and then we have the margin call buy in ratio so if the market start going against you what do you want to do i'll go ahead and click here Let's say if the market goes against us by 5%, okay, 5% will not mean that the market needs to go against you by 50% um, percent ROE, okay? 5% is much. I can go ahead and reduce it to like 2%, okay? You can do 2% or you can do 0 0.8. Um, sorry, 0 0.6. 
or 0 0.8 or 0. Point, let's just do 1%, okay? We'll do 1% there. Eh? So if the market goes against us by, no, let me do 2%. If the market goes against us by 20% ROE, we want to buy how many times, okay? How many times do you want to buy? You go ahead and put that here. I want to buy once, all right? Now, one thing you should equally note, if you have enough money, you can play around with this, okay? On your account, you can play around with this. You can buy two times. Remember that our course, okay, which is the first order amount is $500. So if this margin call here is triggered, this is plus $500. So it means that we need to have money to be able to cover up this margin on our account, okay? So now when it drops again by 55%, okay, ROE, you want to buy another one time. If it drops again by 70%, you want to buy another time, all right? So what this simply means is that the first order which you place, which is 500, plus another 500 because it is one time we are buying here, that is 1,000 plus another 500, that is 1,500, plus another 500, that is 2,000. So you need um, approximately $2,000 to be able to, this is just for one token, all right? This setting is just for one token, okay? So you just need that amount of money, just have that in, at the back of your mind. So I can go ahead and, you know, put the next one here, I'll just put 5% here, okay? And then the next one, I equally put 5%, all right? So I'll go ahead and confirm. So once I confirm that, I'll click, scroll down here. Once I scroll down here, remember we've done the margin call configuration. The next one we have here is same direction margin call limit. What this simply does is, if the market is going in your favor, all right, let's say it has gone by 20% um, ROE, 30% ROE, and you see that the trade will continue to go up. What you simply do is that you tell the board to take advantage of the movement in the market and buy more for you. When it buys more for you, your profit will increase. Okay? So we need to come in here and click here and say, same direction, okay? We want to do two. Okay? We want to do two, or you can make it three. I normally use two, okay? So same direction call, a margin call limit is two. Then you have the same direction margin call configuration. Click on it to configure it. Click on that arrow. So when you click on it, what you are simply saying is that if this market continues to go against me by, let's put um, 2% here. If the market goes in my favor, sorry, if the market continues to go in my favor by 20% ROE, we want to buy more in the market to make more profit. All right, so since I put in two margins there, eh, I'll click another one here again and say this should be three, okay? So here I'll put to buy one time. Then here I'll equally put to buy one time, okay? So it will buy one time. Remember, we've calculated before, this is equally going to be for 500, all right? So make sure you have enough money to cover up in this, um, trading the market under this probability, okay? So when we do that, we'll go ahead and click on confirm. Okay, once we click on confirm on that, which is the same direction, okay, we have confirmed that the next one is the whole position take profit, okay? The whole position take profit, I can just go ahead and put in 3% um, means that the market, if the market increases by, you know, 30%, okay? Um, but in scrapping, this could be maybe more or um, maybe too much, you can just go ahead and play around. All right, I normally play around 2% and 3%, okay? This is what I do, so I'll go ahead and, and do 2.5, for instance. If I do 2.5, it means that when the market increases by, you know, 2, 25% ROE, I want it to take profit, and then you have whole position take profit, I can just go ahead and set that as zero, okay? So I just set that as zero, I don't, I don't really need that, okay? And then the buy callback equally set this to, to zero, okay? So, um, then the last option we have here is the liquidation settings, okay? So the liquidation, by default, you have here on, um, 10 USDT, but since I my first purchase amount is 500, okay, I'll go ahead and put 500 here, all right? What you are simply saying is, if the market goes against you, remember I didn't put stop loss. So if the market goes against you, instead of getting liquidated, when it drops to a certain level, you want this one to be triggered. So here, I'll come in here, because I have margin calls, I'll come in here and say when it drops by, um, let's say five, okay? 
or we can do six. All right. So when it draws by 60% ROE, we want it to buy, you know, the liquidation to be activated for us. And how many times do you want it to activate? You know, three times. Okay. So when will it notify you? We go ahead and put three, or we can put four here. Okay, we'll put four here by when it goes down to 40% and the rest. All right, so these are basically the settings you need to do here. There are no one particular setting. There are no one pattern to this, all right? So you can go ahead and play around with this. I have tried out this particular setting I'm sharing with you, and it has worked. So when, once you finish your settings, you go ahead and click on Confirm, okay? So I'll go ahead and click Confirm to save that settings. All right. All right, so the settings modification has been saved successfully. Now, any trade that I want to take, I don't need to start doing settings for that particular token or that particular pair one after the other, all right? I can just go ahead, if I come in here, um, if I come in here, for instance, I click on this icon for the BLZ um, USDT. Let's see the signal it is going to give us. It says strong buy, okay? So all I need to do is to click on that token, um, click on it, click on the BLZ. So once I click on it, it opens up this way. All right, so with the settings we've made already, with the settings we made already, I'm going to take that signal that this gave us, okay? Now, if you want, that's the circle mode. Remember the margin call, the margin circle mode, okay? We say three times, right? So if you want it to be automating for you and, be, and keep on trading, you can go ahead and check this one that says circle, okay? So if I click on circle here, it will change it from you know, the current mode from one shot to circle. But I just want to take one shot in this market just for the purpose of this demonstration. So once I come in here, it says buy, strong buy. That is what the signal gave us. So we are going to, you know, buy long, okay? But if I wanted to adjust anything, for instance, in this particular coin, I can come in here to the settings. And whatever setting I do here is for this particular coin. It doesn't affect that first one that we did, okay? But carrying out this trade without adjusting the setting means that we are using that first settings that were done that is everything that will be applied here okay so um the first buy in amount will be 500 okay um i can go ahead and say let me adjust the setting and change it from i can change it from um, 500 okay let's change it from 500 to 20 all right so from 500 to 20 that is what we are changing it to and then we go ahead that is the only thing i will change here i'll go ahead and confirm okay so once I confirm that, um, okay, we can equally, let me click on the token. We can equally adjust the leverage, okay? Because the current leverage I'm using here is three, um, five. So I'll just edit and then come to the leverage and make it five X leverage, okay? So five X leverage, I'll click again and save. So once I confirm that, click on the token back again. So once I click on the token, the next thing is just to click on buy long. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on buy long. And um, once I click on buy long, it comes here to the open position. Okay, so open position here, you will see that it is waiting for the market to increase by 0.2. All right, if it doesn't increase by 0.2, it automatically cancels the trade for us. Okay, if it doesn't increase by 0.2, I think it, it, it has a timer, there's a limit it will get to. If the market does not increase by 0.2, it automatically cancels this trade for us. All right, but if it increases by 0.2, automatically you will see leaving the open trade here to the position trade. Okay, so basically that is all the settings you need to do. And after doing the settings, all you just need to do is to leverage on these tokens and their signals here. Okay, the um, MTL USDT, if I click on it, it's a buy, I guess. Yeah, it's a buy. So you can go ahead and buy into this, all right? I can equally click on it, and um, I don't need to do any setting. Okay, I can adjust the leverage. Remember, the leverage, uh, the leverage here is 10x, and then the first position amount is, you know, um, 500. So we can come in here, um, come to the settings, adjust the leverage to remember why i keep adjusting this is for this particular token then the next token if i want to trade 500 i can go ahead and do that so i can adjust this to 5x leverage okay and then change the first buy order to be um, 20 okay for instance so once i do it 20 i'll go ahead and confirm all right once i confirm i'll click on it again 
and then click on buy long the signal with god says buy long right so we'll go ahead and click on buy long and that is it so once we click on buy long if i scroll down again you'll see okay the first one has been cancelled is only one we have here all right so the first one has been cancelled now because it says buy strong the recommendation is buy strong if i go ahead and click on it if i want okay i think it's in position already is in position already here where it says close position let's see okay if i scroll down here and refresh this come to the position oh okay so we have it in position already it's already you know um in position and it is in profit already okay so it's already in position and it is in profit already so we just you know wait for it the only one that is pending is this one we just activated which is the uh, mtl usdt okay so that is it so we have two already in position we have two in position okay this one has equally been placed and it is equally in profit okay okay i think i had the previous trade there that is currently running so this is the next one and then this one is still pending all right this um, MTL the USDT is still pending. So that is basically all I need to share with you in this video. Once again, if you gain value from this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn more, join my Telegram group. If you want to sign up for MetaFishers board and Binance, you need Binance to be able to use this board. Okay? So it costs you 150 links to sign up for all of them will be in the video description. And that is it for I have for you. And that is all I have for you in this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.